How's it going everyone? Obi here, here with Ryan hey and we're about to hit a training session. So we're going to be doing some bodybuilding, of course, yeah. Ryan's uh, forte and then we're going to do some uh, Metcons at the end and uh, see how we uh, find each other's workouts. <laughs> so this should be a, a fun session. Uh, I'm a bit session. nervous about this one. Scott. You nervous? I am a bit nervous. Don't be nervous. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to try and uh, make you suffer too much. So it's, it's the Metcon okay. part. Obviously, I don't do that type of training, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. I don't do any bodybuilding. So I don't lift, so yeah, this, will be my, this will be my first time whatever. doing some bodybuilding. This actually be a fun session. You want that shoulder width apart, yeah? Yes. Uh, if you can get five to six, that'll be good, because the first one's always quite awkward. Yeah. Um, I always make sure, like you said, brace, so core. Yeah. I always make sure, like, even my legs is almost like I'm going to do a squat. Okay. Stabilize me yeah. a lot better. Squeeze my glutes, hamstrings activated. Almost like you're going to do a squat, right. and then press overhead. Because okay. what happens is when it's coming down, you, what happens so your body starts stability. to shake. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's it. Go side, up, up. One more. Up. up. There you go. Ooh. Nice. Up, 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 up. Yes, all you. Ah, nice. Oh, shaky. You've done an ab workout. Hello. You, you can't even stop abs. shaking. You're trying your hardest to keep everything tight, and then that shake starts. Yeah. <laughs> There's no stopping that. Yeah. It, it's really, because I do a lot of Olympic lifting, we have to learn to keep that brace. Yeah. Use our glutes and our, yeah, activate everything. So this is perfect, but it's still training your delts. Yeah. So even though it looks like you're not lifting that heavy, technically they're 25 kilos each and that's a 20 kilo bar. Yeah, of course. So well, just, it feels heavy just to put me. it out there so people <laughs> think that it's not heavy. <laughs> These are quite heavy. So we're going to do uh, side lateral raises with dumbbells. But this is going to be time under tension. So we're going to go for about four seconds on the negative, two seconds explosive, four seconds down. And we're going to go straight into partners, which uh, you're going to see is OB or myself is going to hold the resistance and make it a lot heavier. Engage. Good. One more. One more. Go. Good. Perfect. Woo. Yeah. Come on. Push my hands away. Good. Go. Up, 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 up. Okay, last one. We're gonna make it hard now. Let's go. Fight, 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 fight. Come on. Well done. You notice we never do this. We're always keeping here, yeah. keeping that tension. And always try to have a slight bend on your elbow, not too much, so it takes it out of your traps, keeps it in your side delts. A lot of people try and shorten the movement. Closer to our center, center of gravity, the easier it is, and the more you're gonna incorporate your traps. So further away, imagine you're putting the dumbbells through the wall, out and around rather than up, shrug it. One more. Good luck, ah. perfect, well done. Oh, think, do you train on your own? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, so I train on my own quite a lot as well. And I think things like time under tension, supersets, giant sets, high volume training is great for that. So time under tension is something I, I do, especially mm -hmm. when I'm training on my own, because it's not about mass weight then. It's yeah. more that mind to muscle connection. And that's how I found to, to improve whilst training on my own. Yeah, Exactly the same reason. Yeah. yeah. Push, 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 push. Last one. Come on, let's go now. Fight, fight, fight. Get rid of my hands. Yeah. Sure you pushed that a bit harder that time. <laughs> Good. Nice. Good. That form. Good. Well done. Before we get all the haters saying yeah. that's a T-bar row for your back, it is, but we're going to do overhand grip and we're going to try come down the, the bench, so the bench is above our chest here, and we're going to do a high row, so we're going to try and incorporate uh, rear delts. Specifically, you come up here, chest up here, and you drag through, we're going to come down, overhand grip, and we're going to come up. Go. Good. 
So 10, yeah. and then swap, 10. Okay. Uh, so ski hug, dumbbell snatches. Okay. Yeah. How, how long ski hug? 20 cal. Uh, so it's quite short yeah. and sweet. It's just three this rounds. That's not good this step. So, so what so we want to do with the kettlebells is, again, remember, core, hamstrings, glutes. Swing it up here, and then this is how you want to do it. Some people like to interlock their fingers. Perfect. So let's see how I am up, upright. Once you're down here, that's when it starts to uh, yeah. uh, up. Okay. Yeah. And then you're looking from there, all the way there, all the way back. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. All right, let's go. I actually really enjoy this type of training. It, even now, I feel like secretly feel a bit gutted because there was no way I was going to keep up with Obi. This is what he does day in day out. Um, but as a competitor, I always have that competitive edge where I want to be the best at what I do. Yeah. Trying to do a little breaths and blowing my belly out. Well, you were, you were actually fine because you, you were really upright. So you, you <laughs> did well. I had a choice in that matter. But, yeah. <laughs> but that's what was I feel out of all of them. Yeah. Was doing me the most because I wasn't recuperating, getting oxygen in. Yeah. So it was fatiguing me really quick. Yeah. But now that's, that'd be amazing to incorporate that type of training into. You see how simple that was? Yeah. It's not complicated, simple. And yeah. I don't know what our time was, but I'll double check. My legs were like jelly now. Yeah. They are like jelly now. I yeah. feel my heart rate going. Yeah. Like I can do an hour, an hour and a half low intensity in the morning, which I do do for cardio. Mm. I don't have this kind of. So this, when people say I do hit cardio, this is hit. Yeah, definitely. This is like you physically push yourself to the point you're like this. The only thing that worries me about this, this is, I think, would be amazing, obviously, to kickstart that metabolism, get them fired up. Yeah. Today. Yeah. But my worry would be, because I lose weight, I'm not the biggest Doing prep as well, yeah. Yeah, that I lose yeah. weight very quickly. Yeah. If I was to do this type of training, speed my metabolism, how to slow it down or to... See, well, the thing is, I always like say to people is, so if you're a hard gainer, like you're doing, yeah. doing prep, you might not necessarily, you can do things like this, but without um, doing it the time. Right. So you could have done those three exercises, sure. had like a minute rest. So make sure it's quality reps. Yeah. So those dumbbells would be heavier. Yeah. Yes. You would have done heavier on the front rack carries yeah. because you're resting. Yeah. So it's not as much as a high intensity, yeah. but it's still, just, it's still endurance. For me as well, I don't know if you've ever done, I like to incorporate towards the end, so it's the last four weeks, it's yeah. on a Sunday, there's a full body weighted circuit. So again, yeah, it's yeah, still yeah. a bodybuilding mentality, but it's yeah. three muscle parts, on each muscle group yeah. and a mini circuit, 20 reps, 20 reps, 20 reps, mm -hmm. three exercises, uh, about 30 seconds rest period, you go again, yeah. you do every muscle part. It takes about an hour and 20, and it's the similar feeling to this right now. Yeah. But this was done in like seven minutes. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. done in an hour and 20. So that's the thing is that to put across, a lot of people think these workouts are long, mm. but honestly they're not, they're very quick. As yeah. you can see, like we're both out of here. You don't have to be, you don't have to do a 30 minute I miss this type workout. of training. Like, like, I've never done this type of training, but I miss this feeling of being exhausted. And like, like I say, my legs are like jelly now. Yeah. Can, trying to get my breath. I can feel my body's trying to regulate. So very yeah. good. And it's, very a, it's good. an awesome feeling. Like you don't have to go full on no. CrossFit. That's not what I'm trying to get people to do. Yeah. I'm trying to get people to train like this. But this is en enjoyable as well. Yeah. It? It's not like you say, it's, it's not And you could do this with also, sorry, you could do this with your friend. So even if you and your mates came to train, you're doing two different things. Yes. You can be like, right at the end, we're doing the finish same workout to yeah. finish. And yeah, that's definitely. what I love about this, training together, yeah. having fun at the same, well, 
kind of. <laughs> oh, it's fun now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I appreciate it, honestly. That was good workout. Well done, man. Thank well you. done. That was yeah. fun. Whew. Oh, need a shower now.